experiment 6 distance sensor with geared motor let us start by clicking on begin since we make use of distance sensor and geared motor in the concept phase we select geared motor and distance sensor now next phase assembly we connect the gear motor to motor 1 and distance sensor to A1. Do the same connections with actual B box as shown in this diagram. Third, the logic flow. As mentioned in the earlier fifth experiment, to determine the sensor's value, we need to upload a dummy program first. So we have start and we say repeat. Upload this program to B box. As you can see in this video, the value of distance sensor on the OLED screen at A1 increases as I bring my hand closer to the distance sensor. When my hand is closest to the distance sensor, the value shoots up to greater than 600 and when I remove my hand, it reduces to 39. Next, we start with the actual programming. Click on begin. Now, same as we did earlier, we select geared motor and distance sensor. In the assembly phase, connect gear motor to motor 1 and distance sensor to A1 in the logic flow. Now in this program what we should do is if the distance sensor detects an obstacle in front of it then we make the gear motor rotate in clockwise direction and if it the distance sensor does not detect an obstacle in front of it then the gear motor will rotate in anti-clockwise direction as you saw earlier the distance sensor whenever it saw an obstacle the sensor's value started increasing and reached almost a limit of greater than 600 and when there was no obstacle in front of it the sensor's value was in the range of 30 to 40 so we start by click on the yellow and if condition followed by an output and end if next again second if condition with the same output and end if lastly we repeat the entire code in the first if we check whether a1's value is less than 500 we can have an approximate value let's say 498 if true then in the output we make the motor rotate in clockwise direction by making it plus 20. In the second if, we check whether the value of A1 is greater than 500, 498, so approximate, and in this output, we make the motor rotate in anti-clockwise direction with minus 20. So this is the programming for our sixth experiment. Once you have finished creating the program, you can save the program by clicking on save. Experiment 6. Okay. And upload the program to B-Box. After you have finished uploading to B-Box, you can see that the when there is no obstacle in front of the uh, distance sensor, the motor rotates in anti-clockwise direction and as the obstacle comes closer to distance sensor the motor rotates in clockwise direction 